This is part two of tabs ruler. In some cases, when you have text like this with decimals, you might not want to justify them to the left, to the center or right. So let's say I want to justify it based on the decimal points. I want to align them to the center of the indicator. All I have to do is left click and select on the indicator. I will select decimal justify and then I'll key in inside the align on period which is the decimal point that I want to align. So we can state whatever value or character that we want to align to this indicator. And instantly, the moment you key in, and you can see that the decimal point is now aligned nicely vertically to the indicator. So let's do the same for the rest. I'll key in period. And I'll key in period for this part too. And that's it. And let's say I want to change this to X. I want the indicator to align everything according to the value x. And all I have to do is just key in x in the align on tab and it will align nicely according to the character that we have typed in. Next, we will talk about leader. So leader is a function that is very useful for us to create a list of contents. For example, over here we have the text, the content, followed by a big space here full with dots and then the page number. So if you were to recreate this, list of tables and if you use the manual way which is by spamming dots like this it will be very troublesome it will take a lot of work and in case if you want to change any words here you have to delete the dots over here so it's not very practical to use this manual way to do it and at the end numbers will not align very nicely so let's use the proper way which is to use the function leader so over here i have the text I'll snap using the magnet. So as usual, we will create an indicator first, the first indicator, and then the second one over here. And then I'll use tab to space it out. And now what we want to do is we want to fill the empty spot here, the tab, with some numbers or shapes or decimals. And to do that, all you have to do is just select the indicator on the right side go to leader and just key in period and there you have it so whenever you change the indicator you want to make it shorter you will adjust accordingly and if you want to change the text everything will flow nicely as well 